How's it going, people? Well, let's do fourth Nephi, and I guess after that some DNC. And brought a little companion along. Liberty Ale out of San Francisco. Anchor Brewing Company. And uh let's pour one up. Okay, let's see where we're at. Let's see if fourth Nephi is thirsty. Oh, you like my new bookmarker? It's a ticket to a free movie. They've got a new um, Scientology Center. They just opened it up uh, last week on J Street. And uh, I mean, it's a big building. It's, uh, this is not just, I mean, this is like a headquarters or something. I, I took some pictures. I, I'll probably share them in my next Scientology related vid. But yeah, they, they're just handing these out everywhere. Please come to our new place and watch our movie. We promise not to lock the doors until you're inside. <laughs> All right. Ooh, Fourth Nephi looks a little bit bit thirsty. Happy day. And a little lime beer salt. I'm supposed to be watching my salt. I didn't take my off eye off of it for a second. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> Alright. Now there's a subtitle. All in caps. So let's read that. The, uh, who is the son of Nephi? Fourth Nephi is the son of Nephi. Yeah. One of the disciples of Jesus Christ. All right. Now we have two mastheads. They got a little dividing line, so let's read the top one. An account of the people of Nephi according to his record. And that's Nephi Jr., or the third, or the fourth, I don't even know. All right. <clears throat> the Church of Christ flourishes. Nephites and Lamanites converted. They have all things in common. Two centuries of righteousness, followed by derision and degeneracy. But they had two centuries. That's pretty good. You know, nothing like a personal visit from JC to get everybody all upbeat and behaving themselves. Amos and Amaron in turn keep the records. Okay, that's fascinating. All right, let's dive in. Verse 1. And it came to pass... Nice. That the thirty and fourth year passed away, and also the thirty and fifth. And behold, the disciples of Jesus had formed a church of Christ in all the lands round about, and as many as did come unto them, and did truly repent of their sins were baptized in the name of Jesus and did also receive the Holy Ghost. Two. And it came to pass uh, in the thirty and sixth year the people were all converted unto the Lord, all of them, wow, upon all the face of the land, both Nephites and Lamanites, 
and there were no contentions and disputations among them. And every man did deal justly, one with another. They just did. Three. And they had all things in common among them, like you just said. Therefore, there was not rich and poor, bond and free, but they were all made free and partakers of the heavenly gift. See, a vote for Romney could do the same thing. There won't be any rich or poor. Four, and it came to pass that the thirty and seventh year passed away also. It had to. And there still continued to be peace in the land. <clears throat> Five. And there was, and there were great and marvelous works wrought by the disciples of Jesus. Insomuch that they did heal the sick and raise the dead and cause the lame to walk and the blind to receive their sight and the deaf to hear and all manner of miracles did they work among the children of men and in nothing did they work miracles save it were in the name of Jesus six and thus did the thirty and eighth year pass away because all things pass away except those three dudes uh, from the last book whose names are hidden from us <coughs> oh, I hate that man got caught right there that kind of stunk alright <sighs> and also The 38th year passed away, and also the 30 and 9th year, and the 40 and 1st, and 40 and 2nd, yea, even until 40 and 9 years had passed away. All those wasted verses, all that wasted gold. <sighs> and also the 50 and 1st. And fifty and second, yea. And even until fifty and nine years had passed away, these calendar pages are just flying off. Like in those old movies. I prefer uh, uh, the original Scarface where they have a machine gun uh, blowing the pages off, you know, transpose up the picture. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm confusing fiction with this. Sorry. And, uh, seven, uh, and the Lord did prosper them exceedingly. That helps. Yeah. In the land, yea, in so much that they did build cities again, where there had been cities burned. Eight. And they can use concrete, so they can do it pretty quick. And the shit practically lasts for ever except it's all gone. Like as if it was never there. <sighs> but you know it was because they told us about it in this gold book. Nine. But there were many cities which had been sunk and waters came up in the stead thereof. Therefore these cities could not be renewed. 10. And now, behold, it came to pass that the people of Nephi did wax strong 
and did multiply exceedingly fast because they got to. I mean, they started off with a couple of boatloads of people and ended up with a fucking empire. Only Mormons could probably do that. Other religiotards, I think they need to outbreed the other religion since converting adults is not as easy as indoctrinating babies into anything. Anything. And became an exceedingly fair and delightsome people. Fair as in um, that. Oh, that must have made him happy. Eleven. And they were married and given in marriage. And were blessed according to the multitude of the promises which the Lord had made unto them. Twelve. And they did not walk any more after the performances and ordinances of the law of Moses. Fuck that shit. Jesus showed up. It's over. He is the fulfillment. But they did walk after the commandments which they had received from their Lord who trumps Moses. And their God continuing in fasting and prayer and in meeting together oft both to pray and to hear the word of the Lord who is forever and ever and never changes. But he keeps needing new holy books and disregard that old shit. He never changes, but his religion does, I guess. And if he, every once in a while, I guess the family business gets passed down to the kid. All right. Thirteen. And it came to pass. That there was no contention among all the people in all the land. Because they're all white, I guess. They can marry each other now. Isn't that progressive? They can actually get married. Uh, what's next? <sighs> Cats and dogs, I don't know. <laughs> that slippery slope argument, you know? <laughs> Look out! If this happens, that'll happen. Maybe. <laughs> yeah. There was no contention among all the people in all the land, but there were mighty miracles wrought among the disciples of Jesus. Fourteen. Hang on. Gotta refuel. Damn. That damn salt. <laughs> I might have to drink my first one out of the bottle. God damn. I don't think I can get through that one. <coughs> oh, wow. All right. Where am I? I'm 14. And... It came to pass. Sorry, folks. <sighs> I'm waiting for this one to settle down. That the 70 and first year passed away. We just jumped ahead. And also the 70 and second. Now, seventy and first year passed away, and also the seventy and second year, yay, and in fine till the seventy and ninth year had passed away. This is a pretty lousy literary device, don't you think? All these wasted verses. And the disciples of Jesus 
whom he had chosen, who had all had all gone to the paradise of God, I bet, man. Except those three, maybe. I guess. Oh, there, sorry, I'm jumping ahead. <laughs> all right. This the paradise of God. Save it were the three who should tarry. Let's call them Terry 1 and Terry 2 and Terry 3. Uh, and there were also... Wait, and there were other disciples ordained in their stead. Disciples, but not apostles. Huh? And also many of that generation had passed away. Because we're trying to jump ahead in the story. You can't write about peace. It's boring. And we all wish we were living in it. All right. Damn. Spilled beer on my book. That is not right. This is my book. All right. I don't know where I'm at. Uh, oh, yeah. Terry. Uh, Fifteen. And it came to pass... that there was no contention in all the land because of the love of God which did dwell in the hearts of the people. Okay. 16. And there were no envyings, no strifes, nor tumults, tumults nor whoredoms, nor lyings, nor murders, nor any matter of matter of lascivious, lasciviousness, and surely there could not be a happier people among all the people who had been created by the hand of God. Seventeen. And there were no robbers, nor murderers, neither were there Lamanites. They're all white now. Nor any manner of ites. I love <laughs> There's no ites. They're out of ites. There's no more ites. <laughs> oh shit you didn't <sighs> verse 17 nor any matter of ites and there's a little dash in front of it so you can attach It's like when my sister and brother-in-law lived in the town of Sheridan. I called them Sheridanites because I'm a smartass. I can't believe they put him there. How did I miss that the other time? Huh. I must have been drunk. All right. But there were, but they were in one, the children of Christ. And heirs to the kingdom of God. They're almost there. Just behave yourself a little longer. You can do it. Eighteen. And how blessed were they! Exclamation point. They were really blessed, apparently. With emphasis. For the Lord did bless them in all their doings. They're all honkies. What more blessing could you ever want? <coughs> that helped.
Yea, even they were blessed and prospered until an hundred and ten years had passed away. And the first generation from Christ had passed away, and there were no contentions in all the land. Nineteen. And it came to pass. <laughs> that, Nephi, he that kept the last record of Prentacles, and he kept it upon the place of Nephi in Prentacles. That was important. Died! Thank you. And his son Amos kept it in his stead. Thank you. And he kept it upon the plates of Nephi also. Wait, those were printicles, sir. Whatever. This part is. Uh, whatever. Just looks funny. 20. And he kept it eighty and four years. And there was still peace in the land, save it were a small part of the people who had revolted from the church and taken upon them the name of Lamanites. Therefore, they began to be Lamanites again. There began to be Lamanites again in, in the land. What does that mean exactly? Did they just call themselves that? Or did they stop being honkies? 21! And? It came to pass. That Amos died also, Printicles, and it was a hundred and ninety four years from the coming of Christ in Printicles. And his son Amos kept the record in his. Another Amos? Okay. In his stead, and he also kept it upon the plates of Nephi. And I'm in verse 21, in case you think I'm repeating myself. And it was also written in the book of Nephi, which is this book. Yeah. I know, I'm reading it. Hang on. Oh, wait a second. I did completely. Ah, there we go. Now we're done. And? Man, I had a little of that salt and it's just just a, enough residual to fuck this up. Ugh. Ugh. I had one earlier. It's too sweet. Thought I would uh, tang it up because I like tang. All kinds of tang. All right. 22. Oh, shit. And it came to pass. I didn't know that was there. Good thing I poured this, huh? That 200 years had passed away. So this book is mostly about the passage of time, and it's longer than it should be. And the second generation had all passed away, save it were a few, like three Terry's. Twenty-three, and now I, Mormon, would that ye should know that the people had multiplied in so much that they had spread upon the face of the land. Good thing. 
man, like bunnies. Like fucking lemmings. Almost as fast as bacteria. And that and that they had become exceedingly exceeding rich and because of their prosperity in Christ. Twenty-four. And now in this two hundred and first year there began to be among them those who had lifted up who were lifted up in pride such as the wearing of costly apparel and all manner of fine pearls and all and of the fine things of the world like there's anywhere else you can get anything except that holy ghost which is unworldly I hear it's out of this world yeah all right 25 and from that time forth they did have their goods and their substance no more common among them. No more, huh? Plain, common, everyday speech. Hillbilly Shakespeare, maybe. All right. 26. And they began to be divided into classes. Really? And they began to build up churches unto themselves to get gain when they're already rich? That's fucked up. Why would a rich person just want to get richer? I, I don't understand that. I'm totally different than that. I'd be like, hey, now that I'm here, let me give you a hand, help you up. They're like, <laughs> no, no, no. You bricks. They're getting gain from church. And began to deny the true church of Christ. The Mormon church, apparently. 27. <coughs> Topping her off here. And it came to pass. That, when 210 years had passed away, there were many churches in the land, yea, and there were many churches which professed to know the Christ. Oh, so they all say they're Christian, huh? Imagine that. How many of those uh, Christian churches were there? As many as we have today, I wonder. And yet... They did deny the more parts of his gospel. The Republican Party denies most of that. Ron Paul got booed at a Republican rally for quoting the golden rule. Do unto others as you would have others do. They're like, what a fucking bunch of pinko commie bullshit! Who said that shit? Some long haired freaking hippie? Kinda. Kinda so. And yet they did not did, it, did deny the more parts of this gospel as the Republicans do. And the fundies do. The fundies. <laughs> you would think they would follow it more rigorously, but they really don't. They just go to the negative shit and we're gonna live forever and fuck everybody. Else. But Bless all of us. <clears throat> there you go. In so much that they did receive all manner of wickedness. Whoa. And did administer that which was sacred unto him to whom it had been forbidden because of unworthiness. So crackers and wine should have been out, but they 
What if they were like animal crackers or something? You know? Twenty-eight. And this church did multiply exceedingly because of the iniquity and because of the and because and because of the power of Satan who did get hold upon their hearts. Well, naturally. <laughs> 29. And again, there was another church which denied the Christ. And they did persecute the true church of Christ. The real one. All the others are fucking posers. <laughs> because of their humility. Oh, we hate that. And their belief in Christ. And in their... And, and they did despise it because of the many miracles which were wrought among them. Yeah. 30. Therefore, they did exercise power and authority over the disciples of Jesus. Who did tarry with them. Not the three Terrys. I don't think it was them. And they didn't cast them into prison, but the power of the Word of God, which was in them, the prisons were rent in twain, and they went forth doing mighty miracles among them. 31. Nevertheless, and notwithstanding, all these miracles the people did harden their hearts and did seek to kill them. Even as the Jews at Jerusalem sought to kill Jesus. Those damn dirty Jews. Damn them! They killed Jesus! Who was a Jew? No, he wasn't. Yes, he was. According to his word, well, it was the will of God. It had to happen. Everything is, apparently. So, what's up with this prayer shit? Thirty-two. And they did cast him into furnaces of fire. And they came forth receiving no harm. Boy. You know, the book of Daniel was kind of cool, and it was original in a way. You know? And then this book comes along and makes it pedestrian. Generic miracles. 34. Nevertheless, the people did harden their hearts, for they were led by many priests and false prophets. False prophets? How... How can you recognize one of those guys? Yeah. Do they look like that? <laughs> that wasn't worth it. All right. To build up many churches. Many phony churches. Like all those other Christian churches that are just... They're, they're, they're not real Christians. There's no true Scotsman out there either. Just one, apparently. <sighs> and to do all manner of iniquity. And they did smite upon the people of Jesus. <sighs> but the people of Jesus did not smite again. Wait. But... The people of Jesus did not spite again. All right, that's what they said. Fuck. Okay. And thus they did dwindle in unbelief and wickedness from year to year, even until 230 years had passed away. 35, and now it came to pass, and I need it. In, the, in this year, this year, 
yea, in the 231st year. There was a great division among the people. 36. And it came to pass. That was a whole verse there. It had a point. Then I take a drink. Ah. That in this year there arose among uh, arose arose of people who were called the Nephites, and they were true believers in Christ. And among them there were those who were called by the Lamanites Jacobites and Josephites and Zoromites. 37. Therefore, the true believers in Christ and the true worshipers of Christ, principles, among whom there were three disciples of Jesus who should tarry, in principles, were called Nephites and Jacobites and Josephites and Zoromites. Yeah. 38. And it came to pass. God damn. Ah. That they who rejected the gospel were called Lamanites. And, Lem uh, and Lemuelites and Ishmaelites. And they did not dwell in unbelief, but they did willfully rebel against the gospel of Christ. Ugh. And they did teach their children that they should not believe. That's horrible. That's like childhood indoctrination. That's fucking wicked. It's fucking evil. Any kind of child indoctr childhood indoctrination. Indoctrinate them in their fucking, you know, three R's. Reading, writing, arithmetic. Not the fourth R. Religion. All right. Totally lost my place. <sighs> Even as their fathers from the beginning did dwindle, 39, and it was because of the wickedness, oh no, and abomination of their fathers, I think I'm going to pass on that rule, I can see a lot more, it came to pass as I had, so fuck abominations. <sighs> Even as they, as even as it was in the beginning, that they were taught to hate the children of God. That's terrible. Even as the Lamanites were taught to hate the children of Nephi from the beginning, more or less. Beginning of what? Forty. And it came to pass. Yeah, none of that abomination shit in this chapter. Ah, Whoa. That! 244 years had passed away, and thus were the affairs of the people. And the more wicked part of the people did wax strong, and became exceedingly more numerous than they than were the people of God. That ain't right. Forty one. And they did still and they did still continue to build up churches unto themselves. And adorned them with all manner of precious things. And thus did 250 years pass away. 
and also 260 years. 42! And it came to pass. <clears throat> oh, that the wicked part of the people began to again to build up and uh, built up the secret oaths and combinations of Gaddy Anton. Not those guys. The Gaddy and the Gaddy Anton robbers are back. No, forty-three, and also the people who were called the people of Nephi began to be proud in their hearts because of their exceeding riches and became vain like unto their brethren the Lamanites. Forty-four. And from this time, the disciples began to sorrow for the sins of the world. <clears throat> 45. And it came to pass. <sighs> that, when 300 years had passed away, both the people of Nephi and the Lamanites had become exceeding wicked, one like unto another. All right, forty-six. God damn it! One left. came to pass okay that the robbers of Gaddy Anton did spread over all the face of the land And there were none that were righteous, save it were the disciples of Jesus. And gold and silver did they lay up in store in abundance, and did traffic in all manner of traffic. 47. And it came to pass... That, after 305 years, had passed away, Pentacles and the people who still remain in wickedness in Pentacles, Amos died, and his brother Amaron did keep the record in his stead. 48. And it came to pass. Okay. That went 320 years had passed away. Amaron, being constrained by the Holy Ghost, did hide up the records which were sacred. Yea, even all the sacred records. Which had been handed down from generation to generation. Which were sacred. Even until the... the even until the 320th year of the coming of Christ. 49. 
and he did hide them up unto the Lord that they might come again unto the remnant of the house of Jacob according to the prophecies and the promises of the Lord. And thus is the end of the record of Amaron. Thank God. That's it for uh, fourth Nephi. And yeah, I'll go ahead and do uh, I'll do DNC section 20 which is even longer than this fucking book. Uh, and I understand if you don't want to continue on. This one was uh, kind of an abortion. <laughs> so if you don't want to watch the next one, I understand. Peace the fuck out. Have a wonderful, whatever the fuck it is you're having. <laughs>